the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is part six of the 1803 live stream. Owen Benjamin with Vertac Tactical. Look, it's a black guy stealing a bike. Oh, no, no, no. So he's, someone stole this dude's bike, and then he had an air tag in it in Seattle. And so he called the police, and we were like, hey, I know where my bike is. Like, these guys have it. And the cops were like, sounds like your problem, bro. And he's like, so you're not going to do anything. They're like, nope, you handle it. He's like, okay. So he went and got his buddies, got AR-15s, went down, found the dudes, held them at gunpoint, and took his bike back in his on video. He didn't get charged with anything, right? He didn't get charged. That's amazing. They were just getting his property back by force, I guess. It's just That's how... That, honestly, is a great story. I love that story. It's unfortunate that it comes down to that because what is law enforcement is supposed to protect and to serve. And to live in a place to where, I mean, I understand that it's very difficult to get up and uproot your family and move somewhere. I've done that, <clears throat> and it's extremely difficult. <clears throat> and that should have been one of the red flags is because I was told that I was going to get a moving bonus in cash. And it ended up not being in cash. It was actually on a paycheck. And so therefore it was heavily taxed. It was not near as much as what it was supposed to be because of taxes. But uh, the point of what I was saying is that <clears throat> I would, I would feel very strongly about moving. If I called the, the police because somebody stole my property and they said, that's your problem. I mean, because if you have to do that in order to get your bike back, then what, what else are you going to have to do? And although I've never personally experienced a war, I've talked to people that have. It's nothing that you want to be a part of. You don't choose. Very few people thrive in that atmosphere. Very few people are, are content doing that day in and day out. It's not a good place for the majority of anybody. It's going to keep getting more and more like that. Like, imagine a time when you, because the authority is that people call 911. Imagine if they stop calling 911, they call Brandon or me, or that's how you actually lose. <laughs> or me? Who's calling? That's one of the most laughable things. And I'm not, this isn't me being mean. This isn't me being uh, whatever you want to call it. But what? Why would anybody in any kind of dangerous situation call Owen Benjamin? Vertac Tactical? Possibly. That is way more believable than Owen Benjamin. That is insane that he would actually put himself. And that, that shows so much. That, that tells you a lot about his personality. That is insane, man. That's dangerous behavior. I know it would be easy to just overlook that. And so you're kind of making a big deal out of nothing. No, that is, that is, in my opinion, extremely dangerous behavior that him comparing him saying you could call me whenever there is nothing that he has ever shown. That is crazy, man. Authority. You lose authority when people are like, oh, someone's breaking in. I'm going to call my brother. I'm going to call my dad. I'm going to call my neighbor versus 911 because they're like, we'll be there in an hour and a half if someone dies. The gravy is great. Thanks for breaking the spells. Thank you, Canning Bear. And then Boar Bear had a shitty, dirty little comment here. He said, Brandon, if you saw a guy in dirty sweatpants from Walmart covered in hay with no shoes, how would you size that guy up? I would think that he's uh, crushing on the farm. Yeah. Probably needed to run and grab something. Actually, Boar Bear, do you want your actual response? If there's a guy with hay on his body and he looks uh, rural, I don't think someone would fuck with that guy because that guy's very comfortable with killing animals with a knife. Well, you got to consider, too, it's like, where are you at? If I was in, like, Sacramento, California or, like, Los Angeles, I'd be like, okay, that guy's homeless. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not hay. That's just weeds. Yeah. But, like, if I'm out here, like, it's it's not unusual to see, you know, people all dirty and whatever. You know, it's because they're just working the property. Yeah, and if somebody is feeding animals hay, you have to assume someone kills animals. And if someone kills animals that they've named and come when they call them, then that guy would definitely do something to a mulatto guy in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, <laughs> he's trying to paint himself to be something other than, than he is, at least in my opinion. I don't think there's a chance that he has ever butchered one of his animals whatsoever. Not a chance at all. He literally has said in the past, I, gave, I, I stopped 
uh, calling this thing by its actual name and gave it some kind of a nickname. It was, he was talking about his goat and he called it bastard goat or something. <clears throat> but that wasn't even whenever he was going to kill it. He was going to get somebody else. I don't know. I, that's just a, that's a bizarre way of trying to paint yourself to, to be. The Lord reminds me, I used to do a lot of morning radio when I was touring a lot. And uh, I used to love those soundboards where they do like a car crash or like, yeah. like they just be like, they just hit a button and it'd just be really funny. You need to get one of those, just be like, hit a button. Oh, yeah. yeah totally. <laughs> Welcome to Ticket Ticket Stop Tuesdays. Ticket Stop Tuesdays. It's all just your like voice clips. Yeah, it's just, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Wrangler Star has my voice on a button that just goes, might be nice. <laughs> That's all funny. It's yeah. Like, hit a button. It's just like, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> might be nice. That might be nice. Someone needs a super chat. You one of those with everything in it already. Yeah. Might be nice. <laughs> Dude, it's Red Bar is perfect with the art. Yeah, Red Bar is a great soundboard. He has a uh, he has a uh, Crystalia going. Oh really, dude? Is Wrangle Star a pretty cool dude? Awesome. Is he? Awesome. I, I, awesome. He awesome seems guy. Like he, he seems like he really knows what he's talking about. I've watched a few of his videos. Dude, he did a video where he goes, I don't give a fuck, or he didn't say fuck. He goes, I don't care at all about Israel. I don't care at all about Palestine. He goes, I don't care about any of it. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to pay for any more of this shit. And that's it. And that's the that's the best move. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm taking this opportunity to make fun of Jays a lot, obviously. But the move, the real rhetorical move, is just say, why is it our problem? Because they go, but the paraglider and then aborted. Poor Marigold was walking her dog, and was, the dog was the puppy was kicked, and and then Marigold, and you're like, not my fucking problem. And that's it. And then they go, but, 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 but meanwhile, I could send you 15 clips today of people chasing people down on the freeway and beating and, them and shooting them and, and taking their stuff. And no one cares. No the, one cares. The Jews aren't going to, the Israelis aren't going to send us money to go deal with the issues in Chicago. Right. How is that not terrorism? Right. There's like gunfights. People, yeah, where people, gunfights. oh, I know. And people are like, will target a white kid in school and jump them and beat the fuck out of them. But yet it's like, oh, but the Jew, the Marigold is scared that she's going to get raped by a paraglider. It's like, shut them. It's so obnoxious listening to him do his little stupid obnoxious voices i get it i'm sure it's entertaining at some point for some people but if we were sitting around a table trying to get something done and that's what i would li i would i would try i would try not to but it would be very difficult to not just just say shut shut up just shut your mouth stop talking unless you're willing to speak normally you can make a point without doing that I understand that you fancy yourself a comedian or whatever. Whenever you find something hilarious to say, say it. Tell then stop with that. Fuck up. And the more there's actual problems in society, the more this. But what they're talking about, not caring about what what's going on over there. Absolutely. Yeah. Why? Why would we care? You're literally being emotionally, unless you have family over there to where you can literally pick up a phone, call them, get on your computer, Skype them, and they tell you what their experience is, that's, that would be the only reason. And with the United States being the, the, the country of uh, immigration as it is, I'm sure there are a lot of people that are in that situation. But there's a reason why you came over here and left over there. It cannot possibly fall on the shoulders of the United States and... The, the, the protection of other countries should not fall on the shoulders of one nation, of one country. It shouldn't, especially whenever that country is neglecting. What, what he's saying, what they're saying, what Wrangler Star said, I agree 100% with. It won't work because it would work on like white soccer moms that are like, we'll give money to Africa. Or, we'll give money. Oh, it must be so hard over there. But now that you got like... You know, a trans guy beating your beating the shit out of your daughter in volleyball and a fucking Mexican just tried raping her. And you're just like, if you look at all of the money, I did this in one of my videos on one of my old channels. <clears throat> I can't remember the specifics, but from the very first time that the United States government or a government of, of the United States gave another country money for an aid. The first time that happened was in the 1700s. And if you added up all of the money that we've ever given, now I didn't actually go through all of it because that would be an insane task to try to do by yourself. But I went back, I think 20 years or something, and it's insane how much money we, the United States, and I say we because it's our tax paying dollars, that's what it is, going to foreign aid. And then compared to what was done with that money, 
And then in contrast to what is going on in the United States, it's just, it's insane. One of the only logical conclusions to the motives behind doing something like that would be money laundering. You're literally giving money to yourself or to somebody else in disguise. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's just disgusting behavior. What the fuck are we doing in Israel? Well, maybe this needs to be a clip. Like, if you have a veteran, bro, a vet, bro, who's like, yeah, bro, let's try to put the multicam back on, get our guns, go kill us, some people, man. We're fucking, I'm like, do you know how many people have PTSD from the last war in the Middle East? Horrible. They're, they're fucking all messed up in the head and like, you know, yeah. whatever. And now you want to go back to killing people and you won't even put your uniform on to go help your, what are you doing to help your community? What Nothing. are you doing for all the homeless people? What are you doing for all the kids who are going hungry? No, they, they just want, they have a fantasy of shooting strangers. Yes. They're actually psychotic. That's what I mean. It's yeah. Like, get out of that. Like, Time to mount up, patriots, and go shoot some strangers who wears a different color jacket. And you're what, like, you're a psycho. And one of the things from one of the companies I'm partnered with is like, be a thinker, not just a shooter. You have to use the brain God gave you to really discern intent. And you need to start thinking about, am I being tricked? Is what I am endorsing that? Like, yeah, that last Travis Haley video is. This is the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Victorious. As always, till next time.